Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Gap Scaler. Uh, this is a Project Cars 2 Oculus Rift uh, version. This is compatible with both HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, currently, right now, I'm testing a Oculus Rift version. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's do this. Uh, in terms of my racing wheel, I'm using my Thrustmaster uh, T T150 I'm sorry, I had to look at my uh, box, I forgot what, what my racing wheel number is I'm using a Thrustmaster T150 and uh, I do have my graphics set to high and uh, I have to tell you that VR has come a long way, especially on a PC with the Oculus Rift and uh, HTC Vive. I'm using a Alienware 17 R4. Uh, I have a pretty good uh, i7 processor, 7th generation, GeForce GTX 1070, 8 gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs of memory DDR4 RAM. Anyway, without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's do this. Also keep in mind it makes it much harder when you are using a racing wheel and I do have my gameplay set to uh, realistic so I purposely put a fog in the game so that way you guys can uh, see it as well and the reason I put a fog in the game it's so that way I can test myself in a zero visibility which is even more challenging But listen, uh, the VR has definitely come a long way. Uh, there's a variety of different VR headsets out there. And uh, there's... There's plenty of uh, VR games to choose from. I mean, there's really a truckload of VR games. Especially on a PC, on a Steam VR. Uh, and then when you combine that with a PC and the Oculus Go and uh, Gear VR, there's, there's really a, a truckload of content. But listen, if you guys really want to enjoy VR, you need to step into a PC. You know, PC is definitely the, the best place for you to get the best VR experience. Now, I'm not holding anything against PlayStation VR, sure. For the console, PlayStation VR, it's the only thing there is. It, it's the best. No. But in terms of uh, full experience, I would say uh, PC. But it is expensive, you know. Another thing that it's holding some people, it's the fact that it's very expensive and it will cost you money, you know. just. To you will need a very expensive PC just to get started with, with Oculus Rift. And Oculus Rift by itself is $400. HTC Vive, it's $500. It's just the base. Not to mention that you have to buy the sensors uh, for the room scale, the controllers. So that's $600 right there. Plus the PC. So you're looking roughly about around somewhere $1,800 altogether or 
$1,500 altogether. But is VR worth it? Well, here's the thing. If you're somebody who really enjoys simulations, if you're somebody who really likes to be immersed with your games, then I would say yes. And I think Oculus Rift, it's definitely a best entry level for PC VR. Uh, first of all, it's cheaper. It's cheaper than HTC Vive. And it has a lot to offer in terms of games. Now, HTC Vive, it's a much smoother experience. I do have HTC Vive, and I will show you guys the HTC Vive a little bit. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I have pretty much every VR headset out there and I feel bad that I didn't uh, spend too much time reviewing these VR headsets as I should have. Uh, and mainly I didn't do it because... Mainly I didn't do it because I'm... Specifically, my channel is dedicated for uh, 4K television. 4K television and resolution and stuff like that. But people been asking me in forums, you know, you have all these VR headsets. How come you never? Um, how come you never review all of these VR headsets? And and some people, I don't know, for some reason, they want to know how I feel about the VR. Uh, it is definitely a, a great experience if you are somebody who is willing to immerse yourself into racing if you love racing like i do if you love x-plane 11 to fly around the world realistically in a vr then you definitely need to do that so it's really aimed for people who want to immerse themselves into the experience uh if you're somebody who competes on iRacing, internet racing uh this game, Project Cars 2, which I think is the best racing simulator you can get. However, iRacing is the best competitive real simulator online that you can get. But it's expensive because you have to buy tracks, you have to buy cars, so it is expensive. But Project Cars 2, it's definitely the best <clears throat> $60 experience that you can get. All right, let's uh, go ahead and, and fire up this McLaren. This is in Germany, by the way. The famous racing track in Germany, Nuremberg. Let's go. Now, if you have a really good rig like a really good racing wheel and you have this oculus rift or htc wide then you're definitely going to be in a full-blown simulation racing simulation experience but yes i recommend that you have a racing wheel at least thrustmaster t150 to get you started uh, I have Thrustmaster uh, P150 and it works like a charm as you can see right here. No issues, no problems. Uh, the performance will is going to depend on what type of PC you have, what type of uh, specs you have on your PC. That'll depend on that. But uh, if you have an i5 processor, uh, a decent like 1070 or 1060 you should be okay I would prefer 1070 graphics card and definitely 16 gigs of RAM it's a must So I know the question is going to pop, well what about the Gran Turismo Sport versus uh, Project Cars 2? Well, first and foremost, I wouldn't even 
Hold on. I wouldn't even compare uh, Gran Turismo Sport to Project Cars to VR because Gran Turismo Sport it's only focused on uh, sport division of racing. Uh, Project Cars 2 it's various of different things you know from stock cars, formula, you name it, a uh, variety of different tracks across the world uh, and tons and tons of cars. So Project Cars 2 has dynamic weather, dynamic uh, weather effects, fog, heat, uh, cold, I mean, the temperature, uh, everything. It has really, it's the most complete uh, VR racing simulation to me personally. And yes, I have been on my spare time when I'm not doing 4K televisions, when I'm re not reviewing or calibrating, on my spare time I do uh, racing. And I also do flight simulations as well. One of these days I'm gonna show you some of my uh, equipment that I use for the racing and all that. This is probably one of the most difficult tracks in the world, especially in Germany. And uh, I'm playing this on a very hard difficulty. All right, I'm gonna park it right here. All right, so there you have it, guys. Uh, I just want to do this quick overview. Uh, this is something that was done by request. Some people have been asking me, hey man, uh, you have all these VR headsets. Could you give us your thoughts like on the VR headsets and project cars too in general and what type of game do you play on it and from whom the VR headsets are like I said PC will definitely give you the best uh, VR experience you know some people have been asking me to do a review on Oculus Go I don't know I might do it we'll see but uh, PC it's if you have a really good PC I would say Oculus Rift would be a good choice to go with uh, HTC Vive it's something you will have to have a lot of room but if you have a lot of room with the HTC Vive with the room scale the smoothness the movement is going to be much 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 better uh, everything will be much much brighter because uh, HTC Vive it's really bright and you can have a much better uh, detail inside than opposite of the Oculus Rift and uh, and of course the better motion moving and stuff like that so there you have it guys hopefully you like this video and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow maybe with the oculus uh, go and give you guys my thoughts and uh, I can tell you right off the gate oculus go it's mainly going to be a social digital entertainment experience with some games that you can play with you know but anyway uh, thank you guys for watching this video I'll catch you guys later.
just wanted to do this for you guys a little bit to give you a little sense of uh, see the graphics are beautifully when you have a really good graphics card then you're going to enjoy the detail much better